I look for a double away, bringing Jones to the, to, to the ball for a jump shot. Jones is number three. Sessa with the ball, he's number four. Well, I think they almost have to go for a three now. Mike, time's working against them. Oh, oh fouled in the act of shooting a three. Sessoms, an 83% foul shooter who has been splendid in that role tonight, will come to the line with a chance to tie. Here's a replay of that. Jason Lawson comes out. He could not stop his momentum. He definitely fouled them on the play. And to make sure that there was no doubt in the official's mind, Petey Sesson fell down. Lawson's third foul. The difference three, the number of shots three. Now it's two. Fifty-eight, fifty-six, Villanova. On a three-point attempt, a foul was called. Sessoms has converted the first two of the three. If he's perfect in the three, it's a tie. He is, and it is, with 18 seconds to go. David Harvey comes in. Mario Mullen comes out. I think Villanova's got to work the clock down to about five seconds. Go for the shot. Send your three big men aggressively to the rim looking for the tip in. They cannot allow Old Dominion to regain possession of the basketball. It's either got to be a win for Villanova or an overtime. Well, we are now down to six. Williams underneath. Lawson. with that they got a quality shot boy oh boy Haynes on over to Kittles off of Cornegay loose ball Jones to Mullen Old Dominion, Old Dominion not only stayed close they had a lead by as much as eight in the second half before Villanova closed, took the lead itself. Now we have overtime. Saved by Cornegay, Kittles as well. Haynes oh. over, Williams. Old Dominion ball. Kittles followed through. It turns out to be a three-point play, 65-62 Villanova. Once again, Old Dominion does not do a good job of blocking out on the foul shot. And it's the same player again, Curry Kittles, sneaking in there for a key putback. For three. Ooh. Oh, he might have been fouled too, but nothing called. Sessom drills the three, and we're tied at 65 again. 25 points for Sessom. 67, 67, one timeout left, and that's Old Dominion's. What do you think, Coach? Villanova will give themselves two options on this play. One will be to get a jump shot. Two will be to take the basketball inside. If they go inside, they're going to be looking for a quick shot and draw the foul. Eight seconds, seven, six, five. Williams falls. Possession error. We're signaling timeout. The coach did not agree. But it's possession arrow and Old Dominion, and now the timeout will be called. With 2.4 to go. And the score tied at 67. Half of the court. They cannot allow this pass to come into the Old Dominion half of the basketball floor. type of games. Second overtime, so you go on a combination of nerve and adrenaline. 
And of course the skill, and there's Lawson Fart. 18 points for Lawson, a five-point lead for the Wildcats, and three minutes to play. You see Steve Lapis over there on the sideline pulling the lapels of the suit. It's not a cheap suit. That's a signal to go man to man defense. Jones for three. And now it is just two. 72 to 70, Villanova. 272, the last time there were three overtimes in an NCAA tournament game. 1982, Villanova beat Northeastern by four. Put the ball in the hands of your best ball player in a situation like this, and Curry Kittles has it. With three. Gets it over to Haynes. Kittles for three. Tim by Carnegie. 79-79. A hundred seconds left in the third overtime. Well now done right. Sessions. Sesame is for real. Feed by Williams. Old Dominion has it. E.J. Sherrod and very deliberately Dunlap brings it up. Administration of the clock is critical here for Old Dominion. You must now play the game based on time and score. You're holding a two-point lead now. You don't want to become overly cautious, but at the same time, you don't want to take a quick shot. Jones bad. Laid in by Harvey. Foul is called on Jones. And he is out. That it is his fifth. Okay, Jones is really frustrated here. Here's Jones on a penetration here. Nice dump off. Jones has made two wonderful penetration plays here in the last two minutes for Old Dominion. Penetrating both times, drawing the defense to him, dishing it off to one of his teammates for a key play. Clock and the game clock. I would not foul if I was going over. If you regain possession of basketball, you've got plenty of time in there. Sessions had it knocked away. Loose ball, and it went off of Haynes and out. Old Dominion ball. Twenty-four seconds on the shot clock. Thirty-six seconds on the game clock. Pushing foul underneath. And again, Old Dominion will come to the line. And this time, it is Alvin Williams having to leave. That's his fifth. Old Dominion with a three-point lead. E.J. Sherrod will try to make it four. No, and Carnegie feeds off to Haynes. 32 to go in the game. Haynes to Penn. And ahead, Old Dominion. Sessions. Let's take a look at this great defense in there by Old Dominion. A wonderful break, nice bounce pass. Good spacing on the transition offense in there by Old Dominion. It's over. Old Dominion leads 87, 81. 11 for 12 from the line for Sessions. 34 points on the night. Sunday. It 
took three overtimes. But a lot of wonderful foul shooting on the part of Old Dominion. 87 to 81 with six to play. And the freshman beyond Dunlop, who was so cool under the heat in his first NCAA tournament game, makes the difference seven. Mike, this young man's done an outstanding job of handling the ball for Old Dominion. He's kept the offense settled down. He's transferred the ball from side to side. He understood his role. A triple overtime victory for Old Dominion. A sudden death loss for Villanova. over well over two hours of basketball coach and what do you see you see old dominion outstanding foul shooting coming down the stretch in the early stage of the game outstanding rebounding masterful job of coaching by jeff capels in there they deserve to win this basketball game and by no means was this a fluke old dominion earned this win here today and he earned it the hard way, rebounding and foul shooting. Final score in three overtimes. Old Dominion 89, Villanova 81. Back to New York and Jim Nance. All right, Mike Emmerich, it was a classic indeed. A pair of 14 seeds advancing within an hour. Talking about Weber State and Old Dominion. And some games still uh, underway right now. Georgetown, Xavier.